for destroying some of these really hateful, painful, difficult communications that she received long before the lawsuit was filed. It, in essence, really what Alina Haba has argued that, is that E. Jean Carroll is not entitled to her humanity. And I think the response of this jury will say, yes, she is. She's entitled right, and, to reclaim her dignity. I, I'm so sorry, Joyce. I, and, and that is why this is so confounding, Mary, unless you look at it through the lens of his constant desire to make a political argument rather than a legal argument, because it is hard to see how the argument that they are making does not turn off that jury. That's right. I mean, just as a matter of human nature, the jurors listening to the testimony in this case, I can't imagine that they wouldn't be put off by what Alina Haba is arguing and certainly anything that, you know, they saw Mr. Trump doing while he was sitting there in the trial this week. Um, it, you know, this question that Joyce was just getting to about the motion for a mistrial. Uh, miss, now, of course, this letter to the judge will not be something that the jury gets to see. But when you read it, it and see the accusations that E. Jean Carroll, right at the beginning, when she first was subjected to death threats, at that point had an obligation to save all those death threats when she hadn't even conceived of filing a lawsuit against Mr. Trump to suggest that she had an obligation and that she purposefully violated that obligation and the penalty should be dismissal of this lawsuit, mistrial and dismissal of this lawsuit. It's really pretty outrageous. And as Joyce said, it, it denies that human dignity that you should have to sit there take it, read it over and over again uh, as it's coming in through your social media, through your emails, what have you. Now, it's true that there are rules, discovery rules that apply when litigation has been filed that says you have to preserve everything that might be evidence. But a lot of a lot of what we're talking about here predates any litigation and, again, is, a, is about a woman who was getting death threats, who was being vilified daily, day in and day out, and continues to be vilified by Mr. Trump, who has gone off during this trial and made the same ac accusations, the same false accusations that he has already been uh, found liable for in one previous trial.